So welcome to episode seven of the DIY square drop camper trailer build. We have the inside insulated and taped. I'm waiting on more Raptor liner tint to finish the outside. So we came inside today, insulated, sealed. Next is the floor. I ran a bead of caulk along the outside perimeter just for the heck of it. It's just uh, Sikaflex. And now we're gonna build the floor up an inch and insulate it. And But first I need to run a gas line across and I need to run two water lines across. Those are the only things that are gonna get buried in the trailer are the water lines and the gas line. All the wires will be hidden under the benches that I'm gonna build, but I can't build the benches till I raise the floor. So that's what we're gonna work on today, is getting the uh, floor up, water line, gas line across. Hello. So I thought I should, my head's cut off. I thought I should explain what the green tape is. This is the bed. This line here is the bed. And that is the entry where you can stop and put your boot, take your boots off. And this is a cabinet. And then this line is a cabinet under the bed for this door. So I just figured I should tell you about that. But I can't start making these until I get the floor in. Because I have a specific look I'm going to <clears throat> learn how to talk. I have a specific kind of look I'm going for with the cabinets and uh, I can't build them here because the floor would cover up part of what I want to see. So we got to do this floor first, the, so whatever, finished floor, not finished, but this is going to be where the water tank is above the axle. So I don't have to worry about it freezing too much. I mean, still have to drain it in the winter. It's not going to be a big water tank. 15 gallons, maybe. It's just me. But this bed, this opening is where you can walk, put your feet down if you're sitting on the bed, or it'll have a piece that slides in for another person to sleep here too, or a dog. Um, so that's what we're working on now. We're going to get the trailer light wires for the rear lights in, up through the floor, propane lines, and the water lines across. Frame this out. We got to rip down two by sixes to one inch thick. Frame this all out. I'm just going to try to construction adhesive in. I could put screws in certain spots, but I got to be careful because there's wires going down the center channel right here. And you can see I got the subfloor with the sleepers in place, got that piece in. So now I'm working on getting my utilities across because there'll be no way to get them across when I'm done unless I wrap all the way around under the bed, which I don't want to do. So we have a copper line, it's just a crossover line, half inch. This will be for the water heater on the outside eventually. And then we got a crossover with a cold line from the tank to the heater. So we got the cold water ran across, hot water return, gas line ran across. They're just stubbed into this area here. This 
was supposed to be where the closet ended, but my design has changed. But this will all be hidden underneath here. So you don't see any of the fittings, I hope. We've got the trailer wires to each side for the turn signals and the back up, back, back up, back up lights. So the next thing to do to finish insulating is to cut one, two, three, maybe a little piece in here, four pieces, sicaflex this hole where the trailer wires come through the floor, cut the half inch plywood. I went with half inch plywood instead of quarter. I don't like the way the quarter, even with the insulation, it's still kind of springy. I just don't like that. So even though the only part that you'll be standing on is this middle for the, the walkway. Um, so I guess we'll, I'll start cutting more insulation and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the hard part. This is the piece of floor I cut. There's a 45 degree bevel to match that. Holes for the pipes, holes for the fenders. But it's a pain in the butt to get in here. Um, the last one, I kind of scratched the insulation. There's no way it's gonna go that way. So it's gotta go this way. You gotta fight it in place. That was way easier than the last one. I thought these might fit into the insulation, but I think I'm going to have to cut some. Yeah. Looks like they'll work. That will work anyway. This one is not too sure about. We'll just nibble on a spot for the wires. So now, we'll put construction adhesive down. Very few screws am I using to hold this floor down. Just anywhere it sticks out. So there we go, the floor is in. The cabin is all insulated. The floor is insulated. The only thing is that in the ceiling and that's where the rooftop tent is gonna go. And I'm not cutting that out yet. That's the end of this video. Please stay tuned for more, a few more episodes at least. Hopefully not 60 like some people, but we'll see. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share. And thanks for watching.